Hi everybody, Lori here. So glad you're joining me today. I have a fun project to share with you using some neat and tangled products. I've got a couple new release products to celebrate nice and neat die that coordinates with the celebrate stamp set. Also going to be using this Pentagon stencil, which I love. I love the geometric stencils that have come out with neat and tangled. And so what I did was I adhered the Pentagon stencil over top of my Nina Solar White. Now I'm kicking it up a notch with some post-it tape. So uh, you get double, you get the, the stencil and you get the masking. See this card I made a while back? I masked off these rays with post-it tape. A lot of people wanted to see how I did it. Well, I'm showing you how I did it, but I'm kicking it up a notch. And so I'm like double masking, masking with the stencil, masking with the rays. And I'm using my Distress Ink Mini Cubes. I started with some Squeeze Lemonade. Now I'm doing a little Twisted Citron and I'm trying to really make sure that you see the overlap because that's where the magic is. When the overlapping of colors happens, that's where the happiness happens. Also, a lot of people tell me they struggle with the ink blending. Uh, not something I struggle with because honey, I could do it in my sleep, honey child. I do it so much. I just love ink blending. I think you already know how I feel about that. But I will say with this double masking with the stencil and the post-it tape, it's so forgiving. You really are not going to get that splotchiness or, you know, it's very easy to do. This is a great project to get your feet wet with the ink blending. I'm not even tapping off like I normally suggest you do because, well, first of all, my ink blenders, they are so seasoned up. I mean, I, I, told, I told a lady the other day, she emailed me, she said, I just cannot get, every time I do the ink blending, it's splotchy. And I say, listen, if you got new, new sponges on your ink blenders, they are going to be moody. They're like teenager moody. You got to really season those puppies up. They got to be full of ink and really well seasoned. Kind of like stamps. The more you stamp with stamps, the better they get. Okay, so now you can really see this pentagon pattern and the rays from the masking. Just awesome pattern on pattern. Loving it. Now I'm flicking on a little bit of water using my mini mister, uh, mini misty. No, mini mister. Is it mini mister or mini misty? I forget it every time, but I flicked on a little water and then just because I took out my Gonzai Tombi watercolors with a tiny little brush, I'm flicking on some flicks of white as well as black and it just kind of gives you that just that little something something i gotta tell you a story real quick the other day I'm out with the family eating look at these little flicks and my husband he said you got something on your cheek he reached over to try to get something he, that he thought was on my cheek and he pulled and i was like ouch and it was a hair on my cheek and he goes did you realize that you have an inch long hair on your cheek and i pulled out the mirror out of my purse and i looked and sure enough i had a hair that was nearly an inch long on the side of my cheek. And I don't know where that came from. How did I not notice that before? Did it grow overnight? I don't even know. These are mysteries that can never be solved. But uh, that was probably too much information. But I'll tell you, I'm just keeping it real. So now what I did was um, I got the Celebrate Word die cut. I layered four of those together to get it nice and thick. And I stamped my Time to Coordinating Sentiment from the Celebrate stamp set. And then uh, pop this up. I put some foam, a uh, fun foam underneath it. And then I put a few. These are neat and tangled sequins, by the way. And this card is finito. So fun, pattern on pattern. Make sure when you go home or if you're at home, check the mirror, see if you got any stray hairs. You might want to pluck those out. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.